Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and yes, it's another collab with Super Makeup Addicted. We are going to share with you the LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencils. Yes, I looked at the name because it's a mouthful. We thought we'll just do swatches and I'm going to do a review on them. So you can definitely check over, um, run on over to her channel and check out her video because she is going to do swatches. Um, of the eight that she purchased. I also purchased eight and you're gonna see some of the same colors but you'll get to see um, how they look on her skin tone as compared to mine and I will show you lip swatches and I'll also give you a review on this product and thank you so much for stopping by. Alright so I purchased these chunky lip pencils from Wonderful World Trinidad and they were 15 TT dollars which is a bit under or around two dollar and forty cents US dollars. Now I know that um, the LA Colors have also produced some of these same chunky lip pencils for at the Dollar Tree. They come in a different packaging and they do have um, different color selections. So if I can't get my hands on those, I will do a comparison of both of the products. But this is the one that I have. Um, that I got. Let me show you a nice bright pungent color and they come packaged with the color of the product that is inside and in addition to that there is a clear lid so that no matter pretty much however you store this product you can actually get an idea of what the product is like and the writing comes in the labeling comes in silver and then all the ingredients and all that kind of stuff is in black and then you have your barcode as usual. The barcode is more or less a sticker whereas the name of the product is actually written on it or stamped on it. Now I like the idea that the barcode has the name of the product as against printing it on because some of the ones that I've started using already, the silver printing has actually started feeding. So the fact that it's on the label means that it's going to stay pretty long. So I purchased eight colors. Um, I initially was thinking I purchased too much. Didn't like the all total color range. Um, I personally, after I came home, felt I purchased some of the same colors. Wanted to go back and get more. But I thought I will just do an overall review. And see if I really needed to get more or if I was just gonna be downright greedy and wanted to get more before I do my review so packaging wise it's really awesome I like it thumbs up I prefer this packaging and the white ones from the Dollar Tree just because white tends to get very dirty I know it looks very nice in the collection but it tends to get pretty dirty um, because I'm always hurrying hurrying and when I'm putting on my makeup you get less grams of product in this one as against the Dollar Tree and you get in terms of gram 2.7 grams of product but I think that is amazing it also winds up which is awesome so that's it fully wound up and it goes back but I've not had any misfunction with any of the winding so it seems to be pretty sturdy the packaging do feel sturdy you don't feel anything flimsy at all so packaging wise color and all that I give it a two thumbs up a five out of five for packaging all right so let's get on to this watching of the eight colors that I own so you'll see the ones that I have and then I'm going to do my review after all right so this is what Coco looks like on the lips and I will swatch on my hand for you guys to see is that really nude um, creamy color as you can see very close to the packaging that's it on my lips it's coming out almost like matte you don't see anything else but it's very very nude and opaque I absolutely really really like this nude alright so this color is called coral that's it on my lips and I'll swatch it again it's like almost a rose color even though it says it's a it's coral you can see the pinky undertone coming out really really to me this is not coral at all this is more like a pink straight one pink and this is hot red I'll swatch it on my hand again this is almost acting like a sheer pink color again very very similar all right so this color is called orchid and swatch again this one is more oops of a baby pink can you see that while I was swatching it on my hand what happened 
Yes, these babies are super, super soft. So yeah, that is Orchid there. This one is more of a baby pink looking color than all the others. Alright, so this color is called Rose. Again, these don't have any shimmers on them and that's it swatch it's like a perfect rose color I guess you can see the colors clear this does have a little tinge of coral and as you can see it and that's a pink baby pink so this definitely is a rose color all right so this color is called lilac and swatched that's it there swatched on my hand you can see it's more like your fuchsia color compared to the others this is um orchid which is very more pinky tone this one is really more lilac all right next we have wine all right and this is what wine looks like it's like your really deep plum color so that's wine there so you see it's very similar to rose but it's more of a plummy color that's it over there and the last color is deep red and swatched that's it there swatched again all the colors seem to not have any shimmers on them whatsoever so that's my eight colors okay so as you can see I did pick up a lot of pinks that are very very similar now that of course is no fault of the product it was just me because you know I'm obsessed the only thing that I noticed is that it didn't really have a lavender purple color the ones that seemed kind of lavender purple were again this these three which would be orchid lilac and wine however I noticed um, that's on darker skin tones the lilac um, looks more purple lavender like as against um, on lighter skin tones which I am so so regretted but what I decided to do was to add a darker lip like a dark plum kind of lip pencil and then put this over and I do get the effect you know me I love to play around with um, um, swatches and mixing lip products together so that is the take with the color selection it's like amazing they're like maybe five nudes um, five pinks and even in the red selection they had a couple and as you can see I picked up deep red now in terms of consistency these things are super super moisturizing and they do leave a little stain however the slip is crazy it slips a little too much for me and transfers a little too much even when you're applying you're gonna notice that it's slipping while you apply so you've got to kind of double up on it but you can't put too much because then you know if your hair passes on your face um, if you drink from a straw a cup you're gonna see the transfer so my hand is clean so I want to show you the transfer full transfer however the darker colors stain crazy as you can see, you will see I will show you my lips after just four swatches all right so this is the stain that I got after just trying on four colors the four colors here so you can see my lips are getting stained so I have to go get makeup remover and take off everything <laughs> so as you can see even though that was just the four first colors I did have um, great stain so what I actually started doing is that I would do my foundation and then I usually do my eyes after do my foundation put on the colors that I wear especially if it's the bro um, brighter ones and then I will put on my eye makeup and when I'm finished I pretty much take um, a paper towel and I blot my lips and then I get the stain I may put on it again but I know for sure I like secure that stain on my lip and then I'm out the door with a nude one which is cocoa you do get a bit of staining which I do um did really appreciate also and um, but it just has a bit of slip that you will need to get a custom for me I think it's more like a gloss balm stain pencil gloss balm stain pencil I'm making it even so it's chunky gloss balm stain pencil I'm 
making the name even longer but that's pretty much what it does it is uh it's chunky in size it does give you lots of glossiness it does feel like a nice balm sitting on your lip because it is moisturizing and it stains however I noticed that from continuous wear like for work my two colors of choice actually would be rose and cocoa when I wore these to work and I had long days for those of you chit chat with me during the week you'd realize I didn't even get to update my um, Facebook page I have not had time for my blog and that's because I had long hours almost like one day usually it's about 12 hours but one day went up to like 15 16 hours so I continuously use these for the long days and I noticed come down to like around the 10 to 12 hour my lips started looking um feeling dry so i don't and i was in air condition so i think maybe after a while when it comes off it's not as hydrating but once you have the product on your lips it feels moisturized the other thing that you need to note is that if you have cracks and um your lip your peels you need to exfoliate before using this especially with the lighter colors like the baby paint this color here which is i think um lilac no this one yeah is it orchid with orchid you need to do it with coral you need to also do it with hot red those colors these like these three colors here you need to exfoliate because it emphasizes the cracks <laughs> it emphasizes the dry patches on your lips and all of that stuff and now overall would I recommend this product absolutely I think for 15 TD dollars these are steel compared to the Revlon um, balm stains they do sit better the Revlon balm stains do sit better however I think the darker colors for these LA colors chunky lip pencils you can get three as against the Revlon but if you apply the pattern technique I think you're good to go that's with the bolder colors and the deeper colors something else that I noticed is that I apply these over matte lipsticks <laughs> amazing really really went well with matte lipsticks and lip pencils so if you like matte lipsticks and want a little gloss then you can have this as a gloss as against really a lip gloss um, because then you'll have these gonna work like two in one um, also uh, these go amazing on top of lip pencils because you know lip pencils are a bit drying these are that nice moisture so as against you put a lip pencil then a lipstick and then a gloss you can just do that with this so I like it um, would I go and get more I really really want to I like really really want to get another nude and another red because um, I am in love with this however I know I have way too much lip products so I would not be going and getting any if you want to know my personal favorites I would definitely say nude as an awesome color that's it there um, for, and that's awesome for work uh, rose which is this one and that's it here bright colors I definitely go with wine which is the second to last one there and then the red that's it there these others I was pretty disappointed um, with uh, orchid orchid with orchid lilac coral and what color is this hot red which obviously is not a hot red I was really disappointed in them something to note is that these are so because they're super moisturizing they are super soft and they break as you would have seen in the swatches this broke all together and I tried to swatch very light because I know how moisturizing these are and I knew how soft they were but it still broke so you want to be careful you want to be careful with storage I won't put this in my handbag on um, if I'm going to be in the heat like for the summer heat definitely not going to keep it too, too much in my handbag unless I'm going to be in somewhere that has air condition on the environment it's going to be um, super cool because these are going to melt and be a hot hot mess 